This one tip will save you so much time that you will make an extra $10 million in your lifetime if you just follow what I'm gonna tell you about today. Cheers. Well, hi there, I'm the real Jason Duncan. Welcome back to my What Not To Do As An Entrepreneur series. I'm actually gonna teach you today how not to manage your schedule. <laughs> so, you know, what not to do as an entrepreneur in this series is I'm, I'm kind of tapping into the over decade, uh, decade of experience that I've got as an entrepreneur who's built multi-million dollar businesses and who has, um, you know, been in Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneur Magazine, and now I coach and consult entrepreneurs just like you all over the country, all over the world, actually, on how to exit without exiting. Imagine being able to live your ideal life as an entrepreneur have all the freedom of time and energy and money without the need to be in the business every single day. Well, that's what exit without exiting means. It means you can exit your business physically, but not financially. You still maintain ownership. You don't have to sell it. I was actually talking to a guy um, yesterday who lives in Scottsdale, Arizona. He's gonna be a guest on my uh, podcast coming up soon. His name is uh, Brian Rowland and he started a company called Abenity. You can look it up, it's A-B-E-N-I-T-Y. Well, actually, since I'm mentioning him, I'll let you, uh, I will put that in the comment section below the video so you can check it out. But he started that company about 15, 14, 15 years ago with his brother, and he successfully exited the company without exiting. He didn't sell it to a third party. And I didn't know that. I'd, I'd met Brian and his brother years ago at an event here in Nashville. And we stayed in contact just through LinkedIn, like a lot of us do. But I finally talked to him yesterday about being on my podcast, but I didn't know his story. I didn't really know what he had done and he figured out how to do it. And so <clears throat> there are certain things that if you do, you will never be able to exit your company. And there are certain things that if you don't do, you will be able to exit your company. So this whole video series here on YouTube, is about what not to do as an entrepreneur. Because goodness knows, if you can avoid a few mistakes that other people like me have made, then you can get to that ideal life that you truly, truly want. And I'm gonna give you, in this video today, very specific instructions on how to do something with your time that will allow you to get dozens and dozens of hours a week back in your schedule and will make you $10 million over your lifetime. I, 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 I mean, I don't know how you would guarantee that because I don't know how that would be tracked, but I'm telling you, this is what I've lived and this is what I've seen happen in the lives of other entrepreneurs just like you. So let's get into this as we sip a little whiskey, we talk a little business, what not to do with the real Jason Duncan. Okay, so let's, let's get into this. So the title of this video is uh, Don't Manage Your Time. And I was reading on Instagram uh, recently, uh, you know, how Instagram has all the uh, people, they're not memes, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're encouragement posts. Instead of making fun of people, it's just a quote card or something. And it said something to the effect of, don't manage your time, manage your focus. Something like that. And I can't, I can't take credit for that, I didn't come up with that. But it's a fantastic concept. What I'm gonna teach you today in this video is something that in my Exit Accelerator cohort that I take clients through, is I teach them something called a 10 block weekly schedule. I'm gonna get to you and I'm gonna tell you how to do that 10 block weekly schedule. And if you wanna know more about how to do that, obviously you just reach out to me through the comments or go through go to my website, fill out a contact form and, and I can talk with you about it directly. Of course, if you wanna know how to do it specifically, you can join one of my cohorts uh, that starts, I usually start one every month and, and you can be a part of part of that. And I, I'll teach you one-on-one -on -one with other entrepreneurs how to do it. But here's the here's the thing, uh, manage, your, manage your focus, not your time. That is a good, good point and one that I agree with, because it's about what you're focused on, not as much as your time, because you've got the same 168 hours a week that we all do, it's the same amount of time. And so anybody who ever says I don't have time, really means I don't have the attention for it. I don't have the focus for it. And, that, and you've said it, I've said it, right? I don't have time to do that. Well, you do have time, because some people are making time for it, some people are focusing on it, so if they can, you can. That's how this, that's how life, works. If you can manage your focus, your time will follow. But there are a few hacks that you can do to get that focus managed correctly. If you want to get dozens and dozens of hours of your week back, and if you also want to make 10 million or more in your lifetime as an entrepreneur, then this one tip today will give you everything you need to know to make that happen. 
You have 168 hours a week, and most people in the entrepreneurial wor world have five working days. Now, I realize that some entrepreneurs work seven days a week, never stop 24 seven. That's not healthy, and I do not promote that, and that is the furthest thing from exit without exiting. I don't care how much money you've got, or how successful you are, how many followers you've got on Instagram, or subscribers on YouTube. If you're working 24 seven, you ain't successful because that's not what success is. Success is getting the results you want out of life. And I don't know a single entrepreneur who says, I wanna work 100% of the time, that's the result I want. No, we want control over time, money, and energy. That's what we want. We want that freedom, that control over those things. So how do we get there? Well, most of us spend five days a week, and I'm gonna assume for, for, for your sake that it's Monday through Friday because that's what most people do. Now, you, you, you might have a business that is nights and weekends, you might do whatever, but, but I'm gonna pick five days, and we're gonna use Monday through Friday for my example today. And I'm gonna teach you something that I've started using years ago called the 10 block weekly schedule. And what this does, it allows you to manage your focus, which in turn manages your time, which in turn gives you time back in your schedule to do things you really wanna do, which in turn makes you that $10 million of your lifetime that I was telling you about. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to list out everything that you have to do in a given week, weekly tasks. So for example, in my weekly tasks, I, I'm off screen right here is, my, is one of my monitors, you know, for my computer, and I've got five post-it notes. All right, and I've got those five post-it notes, and I can look at those five post-it notes, and I'm gonna show you how to do this too, and my 10 block weekly schedules on those five post-it notes. It's two blocks per post-it note, and I got five to right at the bottom of my screen there, and you could do the same thing. You just take a post-it note, and you do it. Actually, let me, I could do this right here. I could take this, and I could take this little post-it, this little green post-it note, and I could just do right, right like this, Monday, and then I'm gonna divide that Monday into two blocks. See that? So it's Monday at the top, and then there's a block one, block two. That's Monday. You do one for each day of the week. Now, if you work Sunday through Thursday, uh, if you work Tuesday through Sunday, wh whatever it is, you pick your 10 blocks. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so first, go ahead and create those, those post-it notes. So do that. Take a Sharpie. Do it in a Sharpie or a, or a really dark pen, but not, not a huge Sharpie fat tip like this one because you need more room to write. <clears throat> and I promise, this is gonna help you manage your focus which manages your time, gives you time back in your schedule to do what you really wanna do, which makes you more money. That's what this is about, and that's the result I'm pretty sure that you want. All right, now that you've created those, those five post-it notes, what I want you to do now is on a separate sheet of paper somewhere, I want you to write down every task that you've got to do on a weekly basis. Let's say, for example, I do my, um, my Exit Accelerator cohort, which you can go to exitwithoutexiting.com to read about, but I do those cohorts only on Thursday mornings. That's it. So on my Thursday morning block, that's where I end up putting those. But but forget where I put them in the blocks for a minute. I, wanna, I don't wanna jump ahead. But I would list cohorts. Like that's something I have to do. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. That's something I have to do. I have uh, mastermind that I run. That's something I have to do. I've got uh, recording videos. That's something I have to do. Administrative tasks. That's something I have to do. Financial review. Um, I've got, uh, got seven other businesses that I operate besides my consulting company. And so I give those, those are all, you know, they don't take a lot of my time because I built them to exit without exiting, right? So I, but they're all some, a task that I have to do every week. Maybe there is a connect with a friend, look at an investment opportunity. List all of those tasks, those things that you do on a weekly basis, or if it comes up once a month, go ahead and put it on there too. If it's on a regular basis, list all those tasks. And that list for most of us is gonna be somewhere around 15 to 20 major tasks. You know, you don't, you know, you don't put check email, send bills, you know, that would be administrative tasks and financial review. Like those are two categories. You got, you, you follow what I mean? So what you gotta do is list all that on a separate piece of paper, just in a list. Now, what you wanna do is pick and design your ideal weekly schedule. What does your ideal weekly rhythm look like? And I'll tell you what mine looks like, and you can, you can do yours different if you want to. But what I do is Mondays are admin focused days, and they're the days I work with my team. So I've got an admin team, I've got sales, people that are working in sales, I've got a, my apprentice, um, an apprenticeship program, like all those things, I wanna focus that on Monday. I wanna get the week started right. So Monday, Monday morning block, 
I start filling in that Monday morning block with what do I want to do on a Monday morning? Well, administrative tasks. I can look at my list right here. Administrative tasks, finances, my investment company that I own, my real estate company that I own, my e-commerce company that I own. Like I wrote, I put those in my Monday morning block. So only on Monday mornings am I dealing with those things. And if it's not in that block, I don't do it. Now I'm not legalistic about it, right? I mean, there's times you're gonna have to be flexible. But the point is I'm managing my focus. And if I wanna make, I wanna make more money, I wanna have more time, I wanna make a bigger impact in this world, I limit myself to what's in that Monday morning block to Monday mornings. And I'll give you an example. I have a company called Dunhaven Investments and we do short-term hard money lending for real estate, business investments, what, whatever it happens to be, that's, that's what our company does. I only deal with that on Monday mornings. That's it. Now I will take prospective investment calls on Mondays and Tuesdays. That's the only two days a week I do it. So for instance, today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning actually because in my Wednesday morning block it's record videos. That's the only day a week that I record long form videos. I don't do it on Thursdays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Fridays. I only do it on Wednesday mornings. Well, yesterday I was talking with a guy about a potential investment. He he wants me to, you know, he needs to borrow money for six months to do a commercial flip project on real estate. So I told him, I said, here's the process, here's how we do it, blah, blah, blah. It was a, it was a 30, 30 minute or less phone call, it's not very long, but it was in my block that I talked to invest potential investment opportunities on Tuesdays. And I told him, I said, if you will get me the paperwork by the end of the week that I need to review this, I will look at it on Monday and get you an answer by Monday. That's the way I do it. So I've managed my focus. What most people would do is they'd take that call on a Tuesday, say, hey, send me the paperwork and you can get to it. He might not send the paperwork for a week. The week, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, the paperwork comes in the following week and you start reviewing it. You're like, okay, this looks good. You call your business partner. You check with your money allocation, make sure everything's ready to go. You call the guy back on Thursday. And what you've done is you've just stolen time from all the other tasks that you should be focused on just to do that one deal. That is where you lose time. I don't know the specific statistics, but psychologists tell us that the time we lose in shifting from one task to another can add up to dozens of hours a week. And that's why I say if you do this 10 block weekly schedule, you get those dozens of hours back. You've got your list. Let me go back to the, what I was talking about. You've got your list of all the tasks you've got to accomplish. You've got your five post-it notes with two blocks on each post-it note. Monday's got a morning block and afternoon block. Tuesday, morning block, afternoon block, et cetera, all the way down. And you start designing your ideal week. When are you gonna do administrative tasks? For me, I only do those on Monday mornings and Friday afternoons. Now, does that mean I don't check emails on Tuesday? No, that's, again, like I'm not writing check email as a block task, but I do limit on do not disturb days because I have three blocks a week that are D&D, meaning do not disturb, turn email off, I don't even pay attention to it during those three blocks. All things being considered, I only do administrative tasks on Mondays and Fridays, Monday mornings, Friday afternoons. So what are you gonna do your admin? Put it in. If you want to do yours on Wednesday mornings, that's fine. Whatever you want to do, but just limit yourself to those tasks on that day. I do a lot of writing. I write content for blogs. I write content for uh, speeches. I do public speaking. I write content for my university, Results University. So when am I doing writing? Well, I can look and like, okay, I do writing on Monday afternoons. That's it. You know? uh, and I do strategic planning and thinking on Monday afternoons and on Friday afternoons. I record podcasts for the Root of All Success podcast, the podcast that I host. I only record those on Fridays. Like I have those blocked in and I protect that. So if you call me and say, hey, Jason, I wanna go to lunch with you. Sit, let's get together and have lunch. I would look at my calendar and say, okay, I only do lunches on these days. And my, I use Calendly, which is another tip that I've used in another video, Calendly com to schedule everything so I would send you my Calendly link to plan lunch and I've told Calendly I put it in the technology inside the back end of the system that it only allows me to book lunches on the days that I say it can like so if Thursdays for example I don't do lunches because I'm working with my cohorts and my clients on Thursday so I don't do lunches you can't choose Thursday for lunch it won't even let you if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur and you want to exit without exiting you've got to learn to manage your time. If you don't manage your schedule, if you don't manage your focus, you will jump from task to task to task, consistently wasting dozens of hours a week. 
and you're also missing out on millions of dollars in revenue and income throughout your lifetime. What are you worth? What's your time worth? If your time's worth $1,000 an hour and you lose one hour a day because you're shifting from task to task and you're not focused, you lost $1,000. How many days are there in a, in a year that you're working? Let's say there's 250 days a year that you're working. That's $250,000 just in one year. If I'm doing the math right, some, somebody will surely correct me in the comments if I didn't do the math right. But that's you know four years of doing that crap. You've lost a million dollars just in lost time. I'm telling you, take it from me, the real Jason Duncan, years of experience of doing managing schedules, time schedules, is this 10 block weekly schedule is the key. It's the key to managing your focus, managing your time, managing your schedule, to get dozens of hours back, and to make millions of dollars in revenue. If you would like more information on how to dig into this and how to actually create your 10 block weekly schedule, go to exitwithoutexiting.com. I'll put the link in the comments below the video. Go to exitwithoutexiting.com. I run a 12 week coaching cohort. It's a group of only 12 entrepreneurs, I only let 12 in, and we take eight sessions over 12 weeks and I teach you the four steps that you've got to go through to learn how to get yourself out of the weeds, out of the daily operation of your business. At the end of that 12 weeks, you'll have all the tactical tools you'll need to exit your business without exiting. And one of those tools I teach is this 10 block weekly schedule. I talk about how to eliminate stress and manage the load that you've got on yourself as an entrepreneur by doing this 10 block weekly schedule and it's something that you get as part of the cohort experience so go to exitwithoutexiting.com check it out and if you've got any questions just send me a comment check out you know you follow me on instagram you follow me here on youtube follow me on linkedin all at the real jason duncan it's always a pleasure talking with you thank you for taking the time to tune in today to learn how what not to do as an entrepreneur and how not to manage your schedule well don't do anything i just said you're going to lose dozens of hours millions of dollars and you're never going to be any better right it's not in the theory it's in the action it's in the activity is where life changes. So go out there and do this 10 block schedule today. And if you want help doing it, go sign up for my cohort. Let's get you into the next one so I can work with you specifically on how to create this for you. I'm the real Jason Duncan. I'll see you next time on the next video on the what not to do as an entrepreneur series. Until then, remember, Jesus is king. Cheers.